Okay, so ayun, again, good day everyone and thank you for having me here. So by the way, again, I'm Mike. You can call me Mike. I'm one of the security engineer in the Philippines. So today we'll be talking about the security at hyperscale. So, you know, how can we adapt those ever-growing, you know, increasing of data traffic? So uh, before I start, let me uh, quick, you know, uh, with this uh, question. So uh, probably, as you can see, these are the image, you know, so how many of you could recognize what is what is this you know what's what's in this image so probably uh some of you might know or probably other uh, don't know but this one is the the first you know the first uh, google you know rock ever created so this one is created by uh, uh larry page and see Sir, sergey vin no so usually you know what fascinating in this because they have this uh, scability in mind, no? something that you mga startup natin is trying to achieve ngayon, diba? So, you know, as you can see here, this system where he was able to, you know, during that time to cope up with the growth of the internet, probably it's around year 1998 or around 1999. So, they have this, you know, the, the, the scale or the size of the growth rate, no, yung, yung internet could become. Had already on their mind no they have all this in mind and of course uh, as we know these are already the now currently now yung tinatawag natin ng mga uh, cloud computing you know ito yung mga uh, yung mga public uh, cloud providers natin so basically yung hyperscale in mind no na tinatawag natin uh, na ginagamit natin up until today, no, yung mga big data centers or yung mga very large hyperscale data centers like uh, uh, Facebook, Amazon, sino pa ba? Of course, Google, no, and probably Microsoft as well and others. So, as you can see in the screen, no, this is how Google advertised their data centers. So, uh, it, it would be look more or less like this, but you know, with all this, you know, with all this amazing. With, all of this, uh, you know, ever growing. We have this one, uh, one hard fact, no, na yung yung internet natin it continues to grow, and of course, yung mga networks natin nagko continues din to grow, and even yung mga uh, enterprise network, no, it has the growth about twenty five percent year on year, no, and which means yung mga traffic natin or the the volume of traffic is currently double, no? Like to double themselves over uh, three years or more or less. So imagine, no, you are maintaining those type of environment, then year on year you see a lot of growth because everyone wants to grow. Every business wants to grow. And to adapt, you know, or to, to adapt this new growth or probably to uh, better serve your mga customers, you know, then you have this mindset now okay we will adapt these new technologies we will adapt these new saas applications we will put in some of those application on the cloud or probably we will increase yung mga data traffic natin or probably we will develop new applications to cater or to serve no yung mga customers natin but uh, at checkpoint no we have this uh, vision no this is what i want to share uh, with all of you today so what if you know, we can enjoy yung, yung power of flexibility no, on the cloud level security, no, yung, yung platform ng cloud, not just limited doon sa mga, uh, mga enterprises, no, but lahat ng mga business of all sizes. So we have, we have the capability no, to easily scale yung mga existing gateways or yung mga existing firewall natin and grow pag nag-grow yung business. You know, it's on demand. No? And of course, while no, we are maintaining or minimizing yung mga risk of downtime and probably we maximize yung uh, cost efficiency, you know, of course, it's very sounds pretty great, right? So at checkpoint, no, we never stop. We never stop innovating. And of course, I'm happy to introduce to all of you what we call the checkpoint maestro. So uh, I think you saw the video earlier. So yung Ano, sino ba si Checkpoint Maestro? So, yung Checkpoint Maestro is a hyperscale network security solution. So, uh, we, de we deliver, you know, this into the market with the security of hyperscale. When you say security of hyperscale, you know, we can start with a modest implementation. So, probably we can scale up easily as much as you like. 
then in you know it's like somehow similar dun sa sa cloud nyo paano natin paano tayo nag install on the cloud so in any appliance no could scale you know you could have the on demand expansion to all your gateways or firewall then you can start from building small then you become large and you can scale beyond doon sa productivity na gusto natin and the second one is the operational supremacy. When we talk about operational supremacy, we're talking about something really, you know, important doon sa mga customers namin. So one is yung manpower. I think yung manpower, you know, we know yung we, the cyber security is very, you know, very costly. And of course, we all know yung mga security expertise and yung mga personnel is, you know, it's too hard to come by. Okay, so and with Maestro, we open up a new ways. You know what? What is this new way? So, the new architecture, namin is we want to, you know, the yung new architecture is, you know, naginagamit natin should have the capability to make your deployment easily and manageable. So, but the the very uh, exciting part here is the cloud level resiliency. So, as I mentioned. Uh, the cloud level resiliency is we give you no we give you the the the, the telco grade technology to on sa mga mid size enterprises this is the only security system that has the has the reliability no the 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 super resiliency and of course it have the capacity uh, you have this the the you know the tcos no the cost efficiency technology so let me cite you a sample Okay, so how how we do you know how we do the growth and demand? So let's talk about this. The how can we expand with hyperscalability in terms of network security? So uh, when we're talking about clustering, when we're talking about clustering, I think all of you, you know, those SEs or probably kung kung sino man, no, you either from the management or so. When we're talking about uh, a clustering. We're talking about the two devices, right? It should be uh, an active active or it could be an active passive. But in standard clustering, we have these uh, two devices. No, for example, you have a one gig, one gig on the device A and one gig on the device B. So eventually, if you combine this in a cluster mode or a high availability mode, the performance of, each, of this device hindi magbabari. So meaning it would stay up as a one gig. Yung throughput and performance, even uh, na, na, na HA mo siya or na cluster mo siya, hindi nagpapatong yung performance. But when we're talking about uh, maestro orchestrations, no, so we double yung performance no, by load sharing with a linear scale. So meaning, yung dating 1 plus 1 equals 1, when we go with the maestro, yung two devices mo would be 1 plus 1 plus, uh, 1 plus 1 equals 2. So meaning, magiging two gig shot. So as along the way, as you grow, no, along the way, as you grow, you have the capability to do a hyperscale. So you most of the business, di ba, yung mga networks natin, for example, meron kang uh, yung 7000 series, this one. We have the 7000 series. With uh, 7000 series, you know, you have this the static compute, yung static compute, yung power, yung security. So eventually, once you enabled all the threat preventions, it would have the 9.5 gig performance. But, you know, with Maestro, no, with Maestro, you have the capability to start with 9 point gig, you know, but you can grow, you can easily uh, add more, you know, more gateways up to two, up to 52 gateways. Imagine up to two, 52 gateways. If you're starting with uh, uh, the 9.5 gig, you know, with the 7,000, or if all your devices you conclude with the 7,000 series, then later on, you know, you can support up to 475 gig on demand no on demand yung crowds natin but if you're looking at no if you're looking at with a higher model like the 23800 it could support you up to uh uh 1.5 or the 1.5 terabytes or the 15000 15, gig diba how then how we do achieve this no paano ba na achieve ni the checkpoint itong ganitong uh scalability no in terms of network security so Yung, yung, yung clustering, you know, clustering yung deployment yung tinatawag natin is, we called it yung hypersync. So usually, kung may mga familiar dyan sa inyo na using a checkpoint firewall, we have this uh, uh, sync XL patent. 
no, kay checkpoint or the hypersync na lang, mas madali tingin na. So, yung hyper, uh, hypersync is the responsible for clustering, no, lahat ng gateways namin and making uh, making them work all together. So, this is how it works, no. It allows, you know, yung hypersync, it allows a full redundancy within the system. So, because yung, yung lahat ng gateways namin are clustered, so, pwede silang mag-back up to each other. So, we have this uh, uh, N plus 1 deployment instead of traditional uh, high availability. So, for example, I have here four devices. The first devices, you know, uh, probably everything is active-active. You know, yung first devices is, uh, yung, yung mga resources niya, yung first gateway is, ano, itong gateway na to is, uh, Sorry. Itong gateway na to is connected dito. May connected siya. Connected siya sa kabila and connected siya. So, ibig sabihin, they have the connections and they have the backup. Then, when one of the devices, no, nag, na, na, no, no, na, tawag ito, na, for example, nasira, no, it went down. So, the three devices, imagine, uh, these are the performance nila ngayon, no? So, naka three bars yung performance nila. But eventually, nag down yung isang device. So everything is active active no so meaning lahat ng devices natin will share yung load ng isang devices until na mag up siya. So this allow us to have uh, yung tinatawag natin na graceful failover in case we need you know this type of you know uh, maintenance. For example, we need to have to upgrade with the other devices, we need to upgrade the other devices or we need to have uh, uh, somehow maintenance no doon sa isang devices. So we have the capability to do uh, a redundancy no and we have the capability to share to share all no yung resources and it could be utilized according to on sa needs natin so kanina nabanggit ko uh, for example you have 1 gig and this for in this sample you have four devices and each device has a uh, uh, 1 gig each throughput or performance so meaning it could support you already up to 4 gig you know no, na demand ng network or probably yung growth ng network. No. So let me give you another sample. So so through a maestro hyperscale orchestrator. So basically, meron tayong orchestrator. No, ito yung orchestrator natin and we have yung security gateways natin. So ito yung firewall natin. So all security gateways are connected through doon sa hyperscale orchestrator natin. If you're familiar with uh uh yung mga Cisco no yung mga stacking of uh, uh, Cisco devices for example so basically if we start from uh from the 1600 uh security gateways uh, 16 16600 16, 16, 16, uh security gateways it has the capability of 17.5 gig and later on so uh hindi na kinaya for example hindi na kinaya nung device mo you add or yung, yung performance na kailangan mo is at least 30 gig. So probably you can start from uh, from two devices. Then later on, uh, napansin mo na yung performance mo is already 80% or 60% or 70% yung performance ng gateway mo. And later on, you want to add, you know, uh, another devices. But the very good thing with this one is you can member any device, you know, with in six minutes, no, it could copy all the necessary configurations. Kung ano yung existing na configuration ng, ng devices na mayroon ka, then you can add up that gateway. Then as you grow, no, as you add another gateway, it could accommodate up to the 52 appliance. So in this scenario, I have the 16, 600, it could grow you up to 850 gig of performance, you know, or your throughput, yung how we adapt yung growth on demand. So later on, I'll show you some uh, use cases how the maestro or skitator can adapt the growth and demand in a certain uh, organization. So as I mentioned kanina, we, you have also the capability to do mix and match. So meaning, uh, kanina ang pinapakita ko, it's more on the single unit, the 16600, puro 16600 lang. But eventually, uh, uh, kanina we have the 35 gig. It, 35 gig lang yung kailangan ko or for 30 gig lang yung performance na kailangan ko. But later on, ang kailangan ko na additional performance or uh, throughput is 2 gig lang. So eventually you could mix and match. Probably you could buy the small devices or the small gateway to member the Unsa Maestro 
uh, group natin. So, kung 2 gig lang, you can put uh, small devices to could accommodate yung 2 gig. So, we have the capability to mix and match yung mga different uh, models natin in the same security group. So, let me give you a, a, a little bit of uh, background. Now, let's talk about uh, use cases. So, flexible security with Maestro. So, Okay, so ah, nawala yung isang slide. So, so anyway, so we have this a company we called it uh, Philolite. No, you Philot Light. So the Philolight is a, a robotic a company which is uh, nagsisell sila ng uh, nagsisell sila ng mga coffee. No, but it was served by uh, uh, mga robots. No, nagsiserve sila by robots. So the company has this uh uh, tinatawag na uh, potential. No? They have the potential that the company will grow. But eventually, they want to implement no, no? A security devices. No? Kasi nakikita nila yung future na lalaki talaga sila. Alam nilang lalaki yung uh, network uh, network nila. So lalaki yung you know, the internet traffic or probably how they could secure the network. And they want this technology na pwedeng mag-grow as they grow, not just uh, kaya silang iserve currently but the future need. And of course, they want to be secured in doon sa tinatawag natin ng generation 5 of attack. Yung mga uh, complex, uh, complex attack, diba? So, they plan ahead for the future. So, of course, the in, in, in our use case, no, they choose yung maestro architecture natin. So, yung maestro orchestrator natin, they have connected to devices. So, very humble. No, the, when when they are ready, no, the, the business dictates, no, they could easily accommodate yung growth by adding more gateways and having, you know, for a larger deployment. And, of course, they are ready to enjoy yung active active clustering attend so we have the maestro hyperscale and they have two gateways then suddenly guess what si pilot pilot light no pilot light had had actually binili nila yung competitors nila for just about 275 billion then but the problem now no uh, yung ciso no the the ciso has a new challenge no how is he even going to bring everything no you know all together and merge yung security so nag-iisip na siya paano siya mag-start but since no since the plan in advance no guess no the maestro solutions so they could easily no accommodate the traffic by adding more gateways within you know within minutes and of course it can accommodate all the growth they need so of course, they continues to grow, no? Yung Flowlight Robotics natin. So, they acquire another company. And even, you know, the growth continues. They have uh, a lack of security personnel to manage, you know, doon sa expansion. Kasi, they started from small. They have this only a few employees, no? They have this uh, small footprint on manpower, but they have larger cloud footprint naman. And this is the more challenge. Kasi, nagkakaroon ng increase ng traffic uh, to you know, doon sa cloud needs nila. So, they, they, they require, no, they need to have a separate gateways. They have to secure yung, yung, yung cloud. They need to secure din yung internet. So, they want to set, no, gusto nilang magkaroon ng separate gateways for their offices. Gusto rin nilang magkaroon ng uh, gateways doon sa cloud traffic. So, we need yung security solution to be on hand and of course, capable of separating those gateways. So, meaning, it could easily uh, ad adjust according dun sa needs nila. So, what we did, no, they need uh, multiple gateways that are easy to operate. So, what we did, so, they acquire, no, mayroon na silang uh, four gateways, no. Now, they want this uh, gateway to be uh, parang maging separate gateways, no, but it could be managed by uh, local gateway. So, what we did, no, they have this uh, segregation. So on my SRI per scale, you have the capability to create no on-demand group. So meaning you can create a different security group. On this example, they have a four devices and they want to separate those office traffic and cloud traffic. So meaning kung apat yung device mo kanina, you have the capability to break this traffic. So the two devices, you know, it could be for, uh, sorry, 
it could be for uh, the offices and the other traffic is for the cloud traffic and we have also a scenario na ang ginawa nila from the starting point they have this uh, uh, five gateways yung five gateways na yon uh, it it cater yung ano it cater yung uh, uh, perimeter and it cater yung mga branch offices so nayron silang limang firewall but later on nagkaroon ng pandemic di ba there's a pandemic that happened no a pandemic happened yung branch traffic is lumiit Yung branch traffic nila is may tatlong firewall. Yung offices nila may dalawang firewall. So eventually, lumiit to. Pero yung internet traffic tumaas. Bakit? Kasi during pandemic, lahat ng mga local applications na mayroon sila, inopen nila publicly. No? Ibig sabihin, di move it from uh, uh, internal going to public. So yung, yung traffic doon sa internal firewall, eh, lumiit. So eventually, tumaas yung performance nung uh, perimeter mo. So, ang ginawa nila, they have these automations. Once this performance of uh, uh, yung offices, for example, these are the perimeter, once the growth of this become yung performance, 80 to 90 percent, automatically, itong isang device na to, pwede mong i-hand over papunta doon sa uh, perimeter gateways mo para ma nila yung load sharing na kailangan doon sa isang uh, network. So, eventually, as a polite, so they have this uh, auto scaling uh, capability. So this is what I'm talking earlier. So, and in this scenario, uh, basically, must to maas yung cloud traffic nila. So we have the capability to do scaling, to auto scaling. So meaning, if the performance here goes to 80 percent and yung performance to office traffic mo naging 20% uh, na lang, for example, we have the capability to do auto-scaling without re-architecting yung network natin. So, pwede natin i-accommodate yung demand. It's either by manually or automatically na ilipat yung isang devices. And within na 6 minutes, diba, time natin, they could easily scale up. No? Ma-accommodate niya na kung ano yung load or yung performance na kailangan dito. That's how one of the use case na tinitingnan nila ni Filet Light. So, to summarize, no, we have this uh, checkpoint uh, Maestro Hyperscale technology that it could have you know, uh, in regards with the use case of a check. Uh, of the file light no, with the checkpoint maestro network security solutions we can secure the network and as they grow no at any size it could be extremely no they could grow as they grow you can start from small and you can grow on demand and of course it has the capability no to do some easy scale in a minutes it could be cost efficient and simple operation and of course you have this technology on the network level same as cloud you know resiliency and of course, uh, I have this, uh, I think I'm talking about this one earlier. So uh, in terms of scalability and flexibility, and to summarize, no, yung kanina yung use case natin. So imagine this is your network. You have the uh, the internet shop, you have the physical shop security. So the physical shop security is connected to one, two, three, four, firewall. And later on, yung internet shop security mo is onti lang yung traffic. No, onti, onti lang yung traffic natin. But eventually, Nagkaroon ng pandemic, no? Nagkaroon ng pandemic. Yung physical shop natin nag-close. So, pero tumaas yung internet shop natin kasi tumaas yung uh, internet, you know, online demand, no? Nung, nung business. So, we nilipat natin yung dalawang devices dito sa internet shop and eventually lahat ng employees nag-remote workforce. So, yung dalawang devices na nandito kay physical shop dati na hindi naman nagagamit is we put into another security group para maka-accommodate natin yung mga remote workforce access dahil doon sa pandemic natin. Okay, dahil doon sa pandemic. But not just, no, we we doesn't just provide you yung stability and flexibility, but of course, hindi pa rin mawawala yung mga uh, mga uh, uh, security uh, threat prevention natin. Of course, it's still included yung mga advanced network security and even yung mga protection against dun sa mga known and unknown attack, which is we have the threat emulation and the threat extraction technology. Okay, so in uh, just to, you know, checkpoint is not just about we secure yung network, but eventually we have this architecture that we secure yung mga end-to-end 
uh, uh, points natin from securing yung mga workforce natin from devices to the data and even yung mga connections and of course if you're moving to the cloud it's different how we secure in the network but we have this technology how we can secure and you could have the uh, the capability and the visibility no and controls and automation through cloud it's either from the application from the codes or even the containerized environment so we have this cloud card and of course quantum is our technology or our the family name how we can secure the network just we provide you the the gateways for uh data center perimeter or even if you have branch and branch offices no we provide you the technology yung tinatawag namin na hyperscale technology which is it is powered by our very own threat cloud you know the very the, the, the one of the largest threat intelligence uh in the world no in terms of how we provide a security across doon sa 100,000 plus clients to checkpoint and the very good thing with this one is we have yung tinatawag namin na infinity portal which is we have the consolidated management and a security operation so we can we have this infinity portal that all our technology is there and in a one click it could support what you need from end to end how we secure the workforce the cloud and how we secure the network no and even no even if you have this uh you're building your own no security operation center but you don't have the manpower you don't have uh, no, some of those analysts or you don't have the components no we offer also our services like the infinity mdr so we provide you a managed soft as a service and uh, i think that's on my end if you have some questions so i'm happy to answer them